Andy, a 2-2 draw on the road against Brighouse Town this afternoon. Your reaction to the game? Uh, good, because I think we deserve more from that. Uh, I thought second half were outstanding. I thought first half we were good as well on a really, really difficult surface. Um, really heavy surface. But, you know, fair play to Brighouse for getting the game on. Um, just disappointed with the manner of the goals we conceded today. But despite that, do you think when you look back at it, back on it tomorrow, you might be a bit more pleased considering we've put the run of sort of three losses in the league to an end? Yeah, potentially. It might be a valuable point. I don't know how the, uh, everyone else has done around us, um, but it might be valuable. I've always said, haven't I, Ben, oh yeah, draw your away games, win your home games, you won't be far off. It'd be nice to win an away game, uh, which I think we deserve today. But, you know, like I said, tomorrow I might look at that as a valuable point. Yeah. And do you think, given the performance on Tuesday night and how poor that was, we needed a reaction despite the result? Do you think we got that? Yeah, well, in, in spades, I think, you know, we haven't been on five all year off the top of my head. And uh, I think Tuesday was everything that could go wrong went wrong, whether it was the bus not turning up on time and all sorts of stuff like that. So um, we asked for a reaction. We, tra we trained hard Thursday, put them through a session. Um, we asked for a reaction. I think we got that today. I thought some lads individually were really good as a collective were really good. I thought Tom Alga came back from India. I thought he was outstanding today. Mm -hmm. Um, but you won't mind me saying it, probably his type of surface where he can get about, run around and get, get his soccer. I thought it was outstanding. You know, long mate continue because we've got three really tough games coming up. Ponty away, which I've never won that in about seven years, eight years. Hebben away, which is a tough trip, and then Ponty again at home. So, you know, we've got we've got to, got to keep going. We've got to show that attitude in spades and more, and more when we play them. Yeah. As well as Tom Ellis back with came off the bench. Yeah. Got uh, two goals, but his all-round performance was brilliant. Yeah, back was really good. Um, it's obviously tight with him getting here from work, so. We went with Tom today in the middle, put Tom in there, but obviously Pete pulled up with a hamstring injury. Don't know how bad it is. Um, we'll assess that over the next few days. But yeah, back, that's that's what, what happens when you've got a bit of quality on the bench. You can bring someone like Barky on, then he can go and affect the game. You know, his first goal is a great strike from the edge of the box. And the second goal, he's got in, a, got in the right area at the right time and got himself on the score sheet again. Yeah. And with playing on such a tough pitch, having now 10 days to recover till the next game must be a good thing. Yeah, I didn't even know it was 10 days to be fair. I thought, thought it was next week. Cup but, uh, game. Yeah, re yeah, good. Um, we need it because yeah. Tuesday was a tough, tough pitch. So, uh, today was a tough pitch. We're not the biggest of squads, um, so we might we might modify training next week. I might just because I'm feeling it a bit now, but I might try and get here to give us Tuesday off. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's, it's part of life to recover now and, and get get going again for them next 10, 10 days. Yeah. Andy, well done out there, and Cheers thank you for your time. Cheers.